Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. Just a video on front struts. Now this is obviously on a Prado, but it'd be the same on a Hilux and a lot of other four drives. Very similar um, relative information. So uh, relative to anyone, I suppose, not so much for on-road cars because they get treated a lot more softly. This is the off-road stuff, you know, corrugations, lumps and bumps, rough tracks, that sort of thing. So this is what happens over time. These are quite a few years old. I reckon they're about four years old. Um, just taking a guess, maybe three, four, somewhere there. Um, so all the weight of the vehicle is on this bottom bush. So most brands chop out in the end. We do find the Dobinsons ones to be really good and last the best. And that's along with the OEM ones. These are Monroe ones. We do like Monroe as a brand, um, but we don't currently use those those setups in the, any vehicles um, so your bottom bush and what I say is if that bottom bush is gone your whole strut's gone it's all worn out you don't notice it because it happens slowly it's the safety triangle tires brakes and shockers tires is your grip to the road your brakes are what stops you and the the strut or coilover or shock absorbers job is to stop that spring from bouncing Keep it under control and keep your wheel and tyre in contact with the road. So as it slowly wears away, that effectiveness is reduced. So the internals... So basically what I'm trying to say is, if the bush is stuffed like that and this sort of wear and tear, it's not changed the bush, it's you need new struts, okay? So that's one thing I wanted to point out. Um, and I just want to show you the setup, how these... Um, bushes and stuff go up the top underneath the top hat so what we call the top hat that's the the strut top of the top hat this part that goes up on top of the strut which if you buy suspension kits off us they can come delivered to you already assembled like this with new strut tops for ease of installation or you can just get the kit which is cheaper and reuse your top hat if you've got a decent spring compressor or someone that has that you can borrow now what I want to point out is the first parts that go on when you assemble the top is that flat washer at the bottom, then there's a rubber, then there is a metal washer, a quite thin one that locates. Now this is video is kind of for someone at the moment that's having some issues and I'm trying to point out. So this rubber here, it's molded and it's got a little lip at the top and there's a metal washer that goes over the top, right? This is all a bit mucked up at the moment, very old as it's come apart. And what I want to point out, what happens if you get a squeak, it's because from all the bouncing up and down, and you can see there's plenty of that, look at this top washer, it's sort of concaved in around the other way. This is the way the nut was from topping out. And that's what you get bouncing around on sand dunes and whatever. These are the sort of things that happens to your suspension components. But from all the bouncing up and down, and it's in rubber, so you're going to get a bit of movement and a bit of side pressure as well. So it wears through the washer here. See that there? It's, there's a bit missing here. It is on the ground, right? That's that bit, it's quite a thin washer, I'll try and get it off. All right, give you an idea if I can separate that with one hand. Hang on, give us a sec, I'll try and separate that. And so I can show you basically which orientation, which way the rubbers go. It's proving to be a little bit stuck anyway, doesn't matter. We'll just leave it the way it is. We've got some new ones on the shelf, I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. But you can see where that bit of metal's missing out of there. So if you're watching this video and you've got a squeak in your front end, that could be what's happening, right? So we've lost the metal there. See the rubber there, it's even getting chopped out because that rod does move around a little bit in there. So periodically you should give those a bit of a nip up, tighten those down to help reduce the movement. And you can also change that top bush, top washer and nut while the vehicle's on the ground and the weight's on the spring. You can undo that 19 mil or whatever size it is with your brand of suspension and change that bush if you need to. Not the underneath one, you can't get to that, but the one on top. And sometimes that'll just help. Nipping it down mainly, because new bushes do squash down and we can't just tighten them up all the way from brand new. They do need to wear in and sort of something that should be rechecked later on. Anyway guys, I hope that's been informative. I'm just going to take informative. I'll take you over to the, um, the spare parts bench over here, the suspension rubbers and bits and pieces and whatever and see. Show you what these rubbers look like, right? So... So here's another old one, right? So there's an old one with a washer on it, just to give you an idea what it, normally they come off a bit easier like that. See how there's a lip on there? And that's the way the washer goes over the top. So looking at your strut, you've got your thick washer at the bottom, then you put this rubber on with a new washer, which this is what a new rubber looks like. That's the difference what I'm talking about, how they squash down. So there's a new rubber. Now I'll try and find a washer. 
well here's another one anyway but whatever all right so and this is the way the what i'll just show you all right so that's the lip there and this goes over the top like that and then this locates inside that top hat or strut top to stop that from moving but like i said over time once that becomes loose because it is just rubber because you're going to have another rubber without a lip without that lip there is going to kind of be on top on the top of the strut top but this squashes and then it allows a bit of movement and that's where it all goes bad because this starts to wear and whatever but my point is once this is all worn and flogged and your bottom bushes are worn and flogged kind of like these old ones here whatever you know you get some bad ones these are probably the worst ones i've seen um once that does happen um, it, it's time to just replace the whole strut anyway once again guys if you haven't done it already don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next really important information regarding your vehicle thanks for watching i hope that's helped see ya further to that video information with the top strut bush so this is the one that goes underneath underneath the top hat or the strut top whatever you call it and you can see in this example it's the rubber that normally comes up it's really eroded away quite evenly that there's nothing left around where that lip of the washer comes up all right so you're going to get some squeak rattle and roll going on there because uh, you can see it's just pushed through you can see where it was actually rubbing on the metal hard to get it to focus you can see that shiny bit there on the back side that's where the shaft was rubbing so this vehicle would have had a bit of a squeak in it from time to time and the new stuff is just going to solve that problem and work heaps better this is wear and tear guys it's not going to last forever don't go and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on suspension and think it's forever because it's going to be coming out you're going to be changing bushes wear and tear rebuilds and parts can cost as much as new suspension if you get value for money brands so be careful what you use have a nice day see ya hey guys anthony full before diesel once you fit your new front suspension the struts or the control arms bushes whatever the case may be you do need to finally tighten them on the ground so all the bushes are in a neutral position which allows for twist and flex either upward or downward so you got to get your mate down on the floor like this to um, tighten up those bolts all right so that's the deal um, on the ground like that so that everything's in a neutral position thanks for watching